Hello everyone, uh, my name is Siobhan Wall. I'm the Head of Construction and Logistics at Barking Riverside Limited. Uh, I'm going to talk about for a few minutes about my career history and hopefully that might help you as you make choices about what subjects to study or what type of qualification to pursue. So I came a fairly traditional route through school and university. Um, I studied A-levels, um, economics, German, English literature and general studies and then went to university to study German. So I went to the University of Nottingham and then as part of that course I did a year abroad on a work experience placement in Germany in an office um, and started work proper when I came back as a temp, as a office junior, just needed something to get some money in after my exams but stayed with that company, with DHL, for another eight years and with them really grew through the ranks, um, business analyst, um, supply chain consultant and project manager. Uh, they sponsored me to do my MSc in logistics and supply chain management at Cranfield and so I took a year out to do that, six months on campus and six months writing a thesis for DHL, sponsored by DHL. Um, and after that I came back to Britain and uh, worked in a new business area for DHL, starting up um, a new uh, service to take back and recycle waste electrical products. As a project manager, I then got the opportunity to work at Crossrail because DHL had won some consultancy work with them. And that was my introduction to construction. And so coming in it at, at a consultancy client management level, started to understand more about the construction process and co contracts and how construction is managed. Um, and really got the bug, really enjoyed um, being a project manager, building a, a jetty and setting up a, a shipping service that took three million tonnes of spoil, um, waste earth, out of London on the River Thames and deposited it in um, Essex at Wallasey Island and created a wetlands wildlife habitat for the RSPB using the spoil from the Crossrail project. Um, and although this was a really exciting time in my career and worked phenomenally long hours and very hard at it. When I needed to take time out for my family and have a break to start a family, um, I actually found it quite difficult to return back to that environment. And um, whilst I returned for a year, uh, I couldn't, couldn't find the right fit and so needed to take another two year break after that. Um, when I had my second child as well and um, and took maternity leave again. Um, and during that period, it, I managed to do a lot of charity work, um, set up a charity for refugees, um, became a trustee of my local food bank and found a way to rebalance uh, work, family life and the volunteer experience that I needed to, to be a sort of happy person. Um, and so I would suge suggest that um, you don't always get what you want from your career. A balanced life is important. It comes from many different sources. But don't feel trapped in one direction either with careers. My career has jumped from one industry to the other. To the other. I've done some sales work. I've done customer service. I've done admin. I've done um, bits of marketing and construction management uh, and logistics planning and supply chain consultancy. So... Having a good basis um, of, of maths, science, some languages skills are really is really important to get the basis there. But then actually the opportunities are what you make of them and opportunities about being prepared. And then the luck element comes along and it all fits together quite nicely. Um, but I would suggest follow things that you're interested in, find something that works for you um, and stick with it. But when you feel that the time is right to change. Don't be afraid of change and try and ride the crest of the wave and go with it um, because it usually will lead to better things. Um, and so I would say good luck and um, if you don't make the right choice the first time, keep going, try and find something that works and um, don't give up. Thanks so much.